Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. This is going to be part one to our Delta Force Vortex 34 build. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be doing a carbon fiber inlay using this 6 ounce 2x2 12 Venom Carbon carbon fiber. Okay, it's 12 inches long, 5 foot wide. I also have the ma matching uh, laminating resin. Okay, epoxy and hardener. Uh, gonna do it with some basic tools. Anybody can do this. Anybody. It's super easy. It just takes some time. Okay, so stick around. Big B. What are you, RC? So this is actually a, a fairly decent sized boat, and I was really up in the air to doing a carbon fiber inlay. Okay, the reason. I'm up in the air for doing a carbon fiber inlay is the resin and the six ounce twill will soak up a lot of resin okay it'll soak up a lot of weight all right weighing the back of this boat down okay uh, this boat has an air trap okay has an air trap here so in a, in a really long tunnel so it's actually going to create a lot of lift. It's going to pack a lot of air under the tunnel. Anything over 60, 65, 70 mile an hour, she's going to want to blow off the water. Okay. Now I could sand the air traps off, which I was actually planning on doing. Um, I was planning on filling, filling the air trap hole right here with some a couple strips of fiberglass and just you know eventually we may actually sand the air traps uh, off the rails but uh, it's gonna be an oval boat a 6s oval boat so I'm, I'm looking for speeds of about 60 mile an hour in an oval 60 plus you know uh, just a fun running boat it don't have to be super fast it's not gonna be racing just a fun running boat so um, only time will tell if we need to remove those so uh, since I have plenty of room forward here okay to, to move CG forward I could put it battery center here we could put a 6s pack in the middle two 3s packs uh there's plenty of room up forward of this boat to get the cg right so i think i am going to go ahead and do a carbon fiber inlay as you can see before you do an inlay on a boat you want to make yourself a template okay get your piece of uh painters paper or whatever and roll it out in the hole cut it basically the exact size that you need to make your carbon fiber it's going to make your life a whole lot easier okay i'm actually going to fast forward through most of this you guys uh I, it's a big hole and i've got to work fast i need to prep up my 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 surface that i'm going to carbon fiber so i'm just going to use some 80 grit here and rough it all up then we're going to wipe it down with alcohol Alright, so I got it wrapped up with some paper so I don't get epoxy all over the hull. <coughs> I didn't really go nuts wrapping it up, you know. I just used some of my old, old small rolls of hatch tape I had laying around. And I uh, just taped it up so I can grab it, you know, and turn the boat around without getting epoxy all over the hull. Uh, I doubt I'll need anything up here because I'm actually pretty, pretty neat with my epoxy work. But uh, got it cleaned up with alcohol, and we're about to cut the carbon fiber. Okay, so I got my carbon fiber cut. I use these heavy-duty serrated, serrated, basically serrated scissors to cut it. Pretty simple. I, I don't even think I'm going to move it. I think I'm just going to keep it right where it's at and go ahead and mix up my epoxy 
just set my boat gently on top of it lay out my epoxy everywhere everywhere the carbon fiber is going to be set basically basically everywhere <laughs> the whole boat man you gotta do it all in one shot i don't want to do it in two separate pieces it just looks sloppy so uh yeah here we go actually turned out pretty good man turned out pretty good i got it to i got it to like roll up almost to the seam okay uh where where this like curve right here is i, I took a couple pieces and like shoved it up in the seam right here same thing right here um i got it to go like all the way up to the to the nose and it actually kind of rolled up into the top side of the boat you guys see that Okay, uh, where the sponsons are, I got it to roll down into the sponson, but it stopped like where the ride pad is. You know, it just kind of rolled over this edge right here. Uh, tucked down into that um, that non-trip rail where the where the the tunnel rail is. I got it tucked down nice in there. Uh, I used 60 grams total, 30 grams to lay out my initial resin. And then I put the carbon fiber in, and then I mixed up another 30 to, to wet it all out. And that's it. 60 grams. I wish I'd have weighed the boat beforehand, but uh, I went ultra light. Ultra light with the layup. Okay. I actually got one little area that uh, the weave was out of whack right here whenever I laid it in the boat. And it's my fault. Um, I had cut my carbon fiber out on the table. I set my boat on top of it to wet everything out, and I think uh, one of my my sponsons was like moving around on this area with the fabric laid out on the tabletop. So it's kind of my fault. Uh, I got it. I got it like worked in the best I could. So it turned out pretty good. Okay. Well, I might as well use that whole damn roll of carbon fiber, huh? <laughs> oh boy. So I'm just gonna use my old template and I'm gonna put my old template in the in the hatch here try to try to get that radius right there okay because it'll be very important that you get it pushed down and all the little little curves okay so let's see if this will work This will get us a basic outline. Same thing as the boat. So same thing as the main hull. Prepare your work surface. Knock down any high spots. Get the whole the whole area. Rough it up. 
uh, manufacturer could have got wax on the inside of the hole, like somebody holding holding the hatch when they're buffing the, the gel coat out, and it could have got wax on the inside, so you need to rough everything up, clean it really good with alcohol. Basically going to do the same thing we did with the with the hull. I've got 34 grams of epoxy mixed up. I'll try not to use it all. You can get a roller for your carbon fiber. Um, I need to get one. I've been meaning to get a roller. Really can't use one on this part, but uh, the the hull, the flat part. I, I, a roller would have been perfect, you know. But I actually have pretty good success with the brushes. You just got to keep them moving, keep patting, you know, dabbing. If you see me like peeling this tape off, um, you take a little bit of alcohol and kind of dab on the tape, and it'll 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 come right off. D U N D. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. It actually turned out pretty good. Um, the hatch isn't. It, it's cured out to the touch, but it, it really needs to be like uh, maybe you know, overnight, overnight before I go and, and cut all all this access off. Um, I, I just took my scissors and trimmed it up for the video, but uh, it actually turned out pretty good. Pretty stoked. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take my Dremel and just go around it maybe an eighth of an inch around the outside lip and uh, use use some sandpaper to, to clean it up. You, you guys will see it in the next video so uh, that'll give you guys a good opportunity to uh, ring the bell, get notified for future builds, future videos. Okay, I upload videos content daily, 7 a.m. Okay, um, just a boat channel, all right? We build boats, run boats, break boats, yeah everything boat boats all right uh the 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 inlay turned out really good um after the fact i was like man why didn't i just stop it like right here you know basically just do my carbon fiber inlay where i'm gonna put my electronics because really that's all all that needs to be supported by the carbon fiber so if you're if you're doing a hydroplane build you know consider you know masking off maybe uh the back quarter of the boat and that will reduce the amount of weight that you put back here you know so that's an option for you guys i don't think it's going to matter too much with my build because i'm using 6s on it so and we'll find some good props for it you know but uh it, it actually turned out really nice really nice bummed out about this little area but it, it don't look too bad and it'll probably get covered up with some velcro you know so uh yeah i actually um laid up a a, a, a panel this is a piece of glass, took some turtle wax, waxed it a few times, and uh, basically did the same process in here as on here, you know. Um, this is three ply. I just used one nice rectangle piece for my bottom. That's going to be the nice side. And then I just used like uh, two or three scrap pieces. You know, they weren't quite big enough or this, they weren't quite the same size as the original square. So, uh, yeah, three ply. And we'll use that for our hull brace, okay? 
Um, I made a servo mount for this boat, so, but I'm actually considering using a piece of this for my hull brace, and I could just mount my servo in in that hull brace. So uh, I got some thinking to do. Um, it actually turned out really good. Super duper stoked, you know. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Look for part two in the next few days. I'm not sure exactly which way we're going to go. I've got to order a 36 inch brass stuffing tube because I did not take in consideration the Speedmaster strut and where I wanted to mount my motor. So while we're waiting on that to come in, we'll work on something else. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.